Music is fundamental to being human. However, some autistic people, not artistic, but some autistic people have difficulty accessing music due to sensitivity to sound. But the benefits of music don't come from sound. Rather, the benefits of music come from the content of music, which is tone, rhythm, melody, and harmony. My theory is that we just have to get tone, rhythm, melody, and harmony to autistic people's brains. And that is possible through senses in addition to sound. Here's how I do it. I start with object exploration. For example, while seeing what we can do with a ball, we poke it, punch it, press it, bounce it, whatever, with various parts of our bodies. Each of these actions produces specific tensions and relaxations in our muscles, which is called muscle tone. My theory is that each muscle tone corresponds to a specific auditory tone. Now, we can bring together multiple objects. For example, tap, 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 punch. Tap, 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 punch. Combining tone and rhythm in our bodies to get a melody that is seen and felt. We can work with a partner. I move, float, float. And my student moves, spin, spin, spin. Working at the same time or in call and response. Interestingly, one single object has many rhythms. For example, the tops of the back posts are a one, two. The rungs are one, two, three. And the legs are a one, two, three, four. With object exploration, the tones, rhythms, melodies, and harmonies that are felt and seen have specific counterparts or equivalencies in sound. Object exploration leads to painting music, where I set up a vertical piece of plexiglass for participants to paint abstract patterns on either side. So we can paint the one rhythm several different ways. For example, the rhythm one, two, three can be painted hard, hard line, hard, hard line, soft, soft circle, soft, soft circle, dot, 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 dot. Various visual patterns elicit different qualities of movement or tone and rhythms, which add up to form melodies and harmonies. Each of these, these each mel tone, melody, and harmony is felt in the performer's movements, seen in the performer's movements, and seen in the visual images left on the plexiglass. Next, I, I take these visual images and I produce them on the floor so that we can respond to them with tones, rhythms, melodies, and harmonies in our locomotion. For example, someone can slide along the sides of the triangles, or hop from dot to dot, or meander along the curve. Remember, each of these tones, rhythms, melodies, and harmonies remains that same tone, rhythm, melody, or harmony, regardless of the sense through which it is experienced. Now, instead of movement causing the visual patterns, the visual patterns cause the movements. Here's what I'd like you to do. Notice the multi-sensory tones, rhythms, melodies, and harmonies that are all around you and within you. Ask yourself what your topic really boils down to at its core. Try applying my ideas to your music listening, music making, or teaching. I hope this talk will cause you to look at music and I genuinely mean look at music in a new way because music is ubiquitous, yet it is grossly misunderstood. Most importantly, remember, tone rhythm, tone, rhythm, melody, and harmony is what it is all about. The combination of tone, rhythm, melody, and harmony creates countless benefits, regardless of the senses through which they are experienced. I'm Kent Godfrey. I teach the components of music to autistic people through senses other than sound. Take a look at my website. Thank you very much.
Yeah.